Okay, dry cleaners. And uh, down at the end, what is that? Down there. It was Randy's grocery, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then way down at the end is the pole. Huh? And then, uh, is this a, a church right here? Those two little yes, buildings that's a right there? Yes, the church. It used to be the old post office. Okay. And this is the Boyce Police Department? Yes. And what are, where are all those cars sitting back there? Their cars have been donated by other oh. police forces that they don't use them anymore. Oh, okay. And this is the uh, body shop over here. What's that back behind the police cars? That's a fire station. Okay. What's this sign here? What does that say? Oh, this is a grand store over here. Oh, okay. So we got a project going on. It's uh, the state then, yeah. state monies. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then uh, that's a joiner's house there. Yeah, that's a joiner's. This is Ulster Street, yeah. the section of Ulster and Londonderry. Yeah. And it's the Wren's residence. Project. Yeah, we got a project going on in Boyce. Okay. And this is looking down Ulster Street, and there's a levee the back there, the levee, and the Red River on the other side. And where they're hauling coal to clean yeah, up. That's where the Slattons used to live. There's nobody living there now. And here's a nice, pretty, updated, remodeled home for sale with central heat and air. Uh, for sale by Bulow Miller. I mean, it's looking down London Dairy in an old Methodist church. An old Methodist church? Yep. Where Teresa was married. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sure was. Okay. And this yeah. is a house where Ray and Kurt Duncan used to live. All right. And there used to be a big old building here. Yeah, and that's just a concrete slab. And Brett used to live in that mobile home right there, yep. behind that building. And we're looking back up Ulster, going up to Highway 1. Yep. 